from since I was seven years old. Racing has been my passion. Uh, I've always wanted to make it to Formula One. Every day I think about racing, you know, it's 98% what I think about. So I think, you know, at the start of the year when I wasn't sure what I'd be doing, it sort of hit me and I was a bit depressed to be honest that I, I didn't think I'd be racing something. And now that I am, you know, I'm very lucky to be doing it. But unfortunately, yeah, the, the funds is, is what sort of stops it. But, um, you know, I'm, I'm extremely committed. You know, every day I'm, I'm trying to train, uh, you know, sim work. I just want to win and um, I just want to uh, make it overseas as a professional racing driver. From the moment I signed the contract to when I actually left Australia, you know, it was only sort of three, four days. So it was a big rush getting everything ready. And uh, by the time I got on the plane, it sort of was like, whoa, you know, I uh, just left all my family back home, you know, pretty much had a suitcase of my life in it and uh, didn't really come to terms that I was going to be over there for, you know, four months straight on my own. I mean, my dad's never missed a round of mine, so I, it was a, a, bit, a bit of a different experience uh, doing everything on my own. And now when I've got some good results on the board, yeah, definitely it helps the confidence and it makes you think that, you know, you should be here. This is what you should be doing. And, you know, where we are in the championship, you know, we're in a really good spot to, to have a crack at the, 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 the championship lead. So um, I, I definitely think it's a confidence boost. Straight after Homebush, I actually got to test a um, Mercedes SLS AMG at Phillip Island, which was mega. And then I was talking to the guys at T-Sport and then managed to um, go over to do the two-day test. And uh, yeah, it was um, unbelievable. Uh, went out the pit lane thinking, you know, holy crap, this is, this is real. Uh, you know, because I've been watching uh, European Formula 3 the last, you know, God knows how many years and it's always been something I've wanted to do. Unfortunately, it's extremely expensive, but to be able to say I've driven one is insane. And you're going out that pit lane knowing that you're on track with, you know, 20 or so F FIA F3s and you're in one of them, you know, it's um, one of the best feelings. Build a career, build a reputation in Australia, you know, prove yourself here, prove that you are capable of making it overseas, you know, come up through the ranks, make sure you're quick as well. And uh, if, you've, if you've got the, the funding to do it, go overseas. Uh, uh, that's, for me, I think the best thing that I could have done in my career, you know, and I think for me, going from Australian F4 to the British F3 was, was the best step. And um, I think uh, at, at the moment it's, it's proving pretty good, you know, we're, we've got the pace to win. I mean, at the Silverstone, our last round, I, I, I qualified on pole, so I mean, I'm just saying that, uh, you know, if you come from Australia in, in open wheelers and you were competitive, you know, I think you've got a pretty good shot. I mean, I don't think, you know, you don't need, need to be in the, in the best team overseas. You know, I'm not with Carlin or your Fortex or your double R's, but you just need to have the right guys surrounding you and uh, be in the best um, space of mind, you know, have the confidence, enjoy yourself. And um, yeah, it's, it's a, definitely a once in a lifetime opportunity.